What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a great day on it. First off, I thank all you guys subscribe to my channel. If it's your first time watching my videos, do me a big favor. Hit that subscribe button for me. All right guys, today we're going to be repairing a Chevy Silverado Dash, but this also applies to all GM trucks or SUVs from 2007 to 2014. If your dash is cracked and it's looking really ugly, I'm going to show you guys today how to repair the dash, but this also applies on replacing the dash. So I'm going to show you how to remove the dash out of the truck and if you want to replace it and put a new one, I'm going to show you the same way and just follow the same steps. But if your dash wants to be, if you want to repair your dash and save some money, because I think the new dash, uh, they, they vary from prices depending on where you get it. Uh, but if you want to save some money and repair it yourself, I'm going to show you how to remove the dash completely step by step and get it out of the truck and repair it on a bench and do it the right way. I've seen people who try to repair it inside the truck and just like goop it from the top and staple it and it looks ugly. We're not going to do that today. Do it right. I'm going to take the dash out of the truck and lay in the bench and I'm going to show you the tools and equipment you need in order to do this job correctly. Like I said, uh, this is a hot staple gun. This is what we're going to be using to repair the crack on the truck. I got this off Amazon and it works really, really well. I used it to repair some uh, plastic on my Toyota three wheeler over there and it did a really good job. Uh, but yeah, anyways, it, this comes in a little kit and it comes with different size of staples. And these staples basically just go in the inside of the front of the gun. And when you press the trigger, it'll heat up the staple here and when we press it into the plastic, you want to hold it there for a second or two and then pull the gun off. I'll show you here in a little bit how to use this. Uh, really easy tool, really, really handy. Uh, it's like $40 on Amazon. Uh, anyways, it was a really good tool. Uh, you're gonna need a little panel popper to pop some of the panels loose on the truck. You need two sockets and I prefer quarter inch because they're small and we need to get into some tight spots. You need a seven millimeter socket and a 10 millimeter socket. That's all you need. And then we're gonna be using a T15 to get into some bolts that we need to take off. So it's gonna be a Torx 15. We need a Phillips screw and a ratchet. Now, if you have access to power tools, I definitely recommend power tools because it's gonna speed up the process. But if not, a quarter inch ratchet would do the job. And some JB Weld plastic repair. This is just where I'm gonna put, after I staple the crack with the staple gun, I'm gonna put some JB plastic repair along the crack to kind of just make sure that the crack stays nice and tight and secure. This step, you don't have to do this, but this is what I do just to make sure uh, and prevent it from cracking again. So I'm just waiting right now for my buddy David to get here so we can go ahead and get started. Uh, this will take me about me about 30 minutes to take the dash out, lay on the table, preparing the crack, and then putting the dash back in. So I'm gonna show you guys the step-by-step uh, we also need to disconnect the battery on this truck when it gets here because we are going to be messing with the passenger airbag We're going to remove it out of the truck So anytime you're messing with any kind of airbags, you want to make sure you disconnect the battery So we're going to do that first before we get started uh, And then make sure that we don't prevent any accidents from happening, but yeah, let's right now. We'll hope, wait for him to get here Negative reason we're disconnecting the battery is because we're going to be messing with the airbag. We need first step. Pop this off. Sevens. Let me pop this panel off. There's going to be a 10 millimeter here. And there's going to be a Phillips screw there and a Phillips screw there.
I got seven here. Pull off all these sevens for the radio. AC control head. Grab a Torx 15. Grab this panel. Pull it forward. Clip stand from the back. Grab our seven. This four, three, one, two, three, four more sevens. And we can grab our cluster, pull it forward, disconnect it, put that out of the way. There's going to be one, two more sevens in the back. I'm going to pull off this cover. It's going to be a seven inside here. Pull this down, back, and disconnect the speaker. We need to move on to that side and then we can just remove the airbag. Airbag. This is gonna be one, two, three, four, ten millimeters. We need to remove. This is the reason why we want to disconnect the battery since we're disconnected a airbag. safety tab out pull this up and away move this out of our way anytime you mess with an airbag you want to lay it down facing up in case it does go off you don't want it to shoot straight up in the air all right 
we have take these clips off of here. I want to keep the tent on here because there's gonna be two tents in here. So one here. These are going to be a 7 here or a 10 millimeter. And this one we have a two sevens. All right. Yeah, the dash completely loose. We need to remove this top panel on the back. Pry tool. Just going to stick in here. Careful not to. Yeah. Grab it, pull it towards us. Grab this sensor here, sun sensor, and just turn it counterclockwise. On top, there's gonna to be four 10 millimeters on the back. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, and there's gonna be two sevens, one right here, and one right here. And you take those off. Sevens. Ten. These do have Loctite, so they're gonna be pretty tight. One more in the corner, but before we go over there, we're gonna come over here. We gotta disconnect all these kids. So this is our antenna for our radio. I'm gonna just pull apart here in the foam. Out of our way. We just gotta do that last ten and disconnect our cables over there. All right, so we got one more ten right here. tool connect our connectors yeah this one's dash is messed up hopefully we have to be very careful pulling this dash out so we don't cause any more damage so we get our cables loose make sure we get everything loose Push our wires back into the dash. They don't get caught. Try to pull it out. So before we take the dash out, I want I like to push this all the way down. Grab our steering wheel all the way down, and we're gonna grab it, pull it up, and lift it out that way. So uh, the hardest part is trying to get over the steering cone. So we have three different cracks. We got one here, we have a large one right here, and we have to set the one all the way over here on this side. And the good thing about this dash is we can repair it because it's not missing chunks. If the chunks were missing out of here, there's nothing we can do about that. We have to replace it. So for this one, we can actually save uh, as bad as it looks. Um, so we just need to pull it together. I'm gonna be using a hot stable gun. Plastic welding gun is what we're going to be using. So, this is a really handy tool. Definitely recommend 
getting one if you guys don't have one. It was like 40 bucks on Amazon, but it does more than just fix the dash. It's repair any kind of broken plastic. So we're gonna be using uh, these staples here. These are the ones you wanna use. So we're gonna be using these. Um, she didn't take, well, it's gonna take quite a bit of staples because it's pretty big cracks, so. All right, let's get set up. Good? You good? Okay, you like that. So once we get done uh, repairing the crack, all the cracks, like this one has three. So we got one, the little one here, the large one down the center, and then this one on this side. Uh, once you get the cracks fixed, we want to go over and get some cutters. Uh, the little kit does come with these little cutters here, and they do work, but I have my own. Uh, all we're going to want to do is just get it as close to the bottom of it as you can. Definitely want to wear some safety glasses because these go flying everywhere. So I'm just gonna cut these off. Alright guys, now that we got the staples all cut up off out of our way on all the cracks, we can go ahead, I'm gonna use this uh, JB Weld uh, plastic epoxy just to put it down, like I said, down the seam of the crack to kind of give it that extra secure and make sure it doesn't come apart on us and it's just gonna make it a little bit stable and more sturdy and reassure that the crack's not gonna come back out. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. JB Well stuff, plastic this stuff works really, really well. And then, uh, yeah, fill it in the crack and then let it dry. All right, guys, so we got this already glued up uh, all along here, this little section here, the large crack down the middle and this little crack right here. So the glue is already dried up, all the epoxy is already dried up, so we're gonna get ready to put it back in. Um, I'll show you guys how to put it back in. There is a uh, way I like to do it, uh, and it's angling the dash from the passenger side. We have to go over the steering column and kind of just try to shoot it down at an angle. So, because that column is gonna give us the most trouble. Like I said, if we need to leave it where we have it when we take it off, so we can just slide the dash in as smooth as we can. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and grab the dash and get this thing back in. Here, 
radio connectors, AC control head, and power outlets up in here. Make sure we got our sun sensor here, our auto lights sensor here. So you got it. All our connections loose and back in place. We can go ahead and start reassembling the dash the same way we took it out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna leave this screw out. I'm not gonna put this one back in because what happens is when you put both of these in, it puts a lot of tension on this dash and it's gonna eventually crack again. So I'm gonna leave this one out. And just put one back in, which is the corner one. And all we're gonna do now is just a reassemble the dash the same way we took it out. Put our tenor on that side, and then we should better put that panel back in. So on our panel, as you can see, it's got hooks. So these hooks actually go into here. So we want to hook it in, and then we can lay it down. We want to hook up our sensor. So put our panel hooks in. Grab our sensor here and twist it. Clockwise, to lock it in place. Go ahead and make sure our panel is in. There we go. Airbag. Go ahead and make our connections first. Put our tent back in. Now the airbag's gonna have the shorter tents. The big long tents are for the, the handle on the pillar. Keep our tent on our gun. Go ahead and connect our pillar. Slide it into place. Now we can switch over to the driver's side and finish that side up. Put our cluster back in. Shield. Grab our radio. Make our connections. Make our connections in the back. Now you don't have to worry about these being plugged in the wrong spot because these only go in one location. So if it doesn't fit, try a different spot. Like I said, you can't mess those up. Make our connections for that. Line everything up, it's in place. Now we can add our other sevens on this side.
So we add our 10 and our Phillips down here, and we'll add our Torx 15, 15 here, and we'll be done. All right. Once our dash is back in, let me go ahead and connect our battery and make sure everything's working fine. All right. We're done with the dash, it's all back together. Let me show you a little bit of the after now. Uh, there was a large crack here on the corner of the airbag and the large crack that was going down the center of the dash is gone. Got it repaired, nice and good. And the crack on that side, so uh, yeah, there's where the crack was. You can see the line a little bit right here and it needs to come all the way up here, but if you press, you can still see a little bit if you're looking for it. If you press down, it's not going anywhere. Uh, repair is good. That's how you repair these dashes. Uh, if you have any questions, guys, please let me know. Put in the comments down below and I'll try to help you out. Uh, please like, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one.